This is the method I use to make the flakiest biscuits that have ever come out of my kitchen. To start with, I've blended up the dough in the food processor, and it should look about like this when you get it uh, uh, ready to roll out. Flour your surface, which it can be a wooden cutting board or your kitchen counter, or in this case, what I'm using is a still pad baking sheet, which I love to use because it uh, doesn't require much flour. As you're taking the dough out of the food processor, be mashing it together. You want it to come into a ball. And knead it about three or four times just to make a nice smooth ball. Not too much. You don't want to overwork it. Okay, now I've got a rolling pin that's uh, been sprinkled with flour in the uh, stockinette that covers it. And stockinette is a secret for not having too much sticking on your rolling pin. Now we're going to roll this into a, a rectangle. See the sides get ragged, so just push them together with your hands. They don't have to look real pretty, but it helps if they're smooth. Now, take your cinnamon and sugar mixture, which is one part cinnamon, one part sugar, and sprinkle over one third, actually two thirds, of the long way of your uh, dough. Now, not too much, or the layers won't even stick together. And I'm going to spritz with one quick spritz of water to make it all stick. Now, take the side that's not, it doesn't have any cinnamon, and fold it over like a letter. Take the other side and fold it over on top. And mash together. Again, make your sides smooth. You'll notice I've got on plastic gloves. It's not really for hygiene purposes. It's more to keep the body, my body temperature for my hands from melting the butter. Okay? About uh, a little less than one inch thick. Again, straighten up your sides. Sprinkle your sugar cinnamon mixture over two thirds of your rectangle. Again, not too much. You want them to stick together. One quick spritz of water and fold your uns, the side with no cinnamon on over on top, just like a letter, and again on top. Smash down and roll out again. Now you can repeat this one more time if you like, but I think that'll be enough for me. A little more flour to keep it from sticking. And we're going to roll this out about one half inch thick. If you make these too tall, as in one inch thick, the layers rise up so high and so flaky that I find that they tend to fall over. If you like that effect, go right ahead. And I'm going to very carefully, because this is a silicone mat, cut this into squares. I don't do circles because the scraps would lose, the layers would lose their integrity uh, once I re-roll them. I'm going to cut this in half and then each one of these in half giving us about 12 biscuits. So of course you can make them different sizes if you want to. Use that knife to straighten them up. There you go. See the layers? Those will bake into, up into the highest, flakiest biscuits. Uh, very impressive. Thank you.